I guess it's just a subcategory, no web developer. So we've got uh, macros for Firefox, JavaScript console. These are just some of them, right? There's a, there were a thousand here. So from here, you can do a search within within this to see what's here, or you can just browse them all. There, there's too many here that I'm going to look at. Firebug, you can actually look at the code if you're interested in looking at the code. You look so excited. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. What do you get from photos that you can do? Pardon? Uh, the photos, music video, links to, you know, Pica uh, yeah, Pe you know, a link to Picnic, a link to Picasso, a link. You're from this picture, you can link directly to Facebook and put it in your Facebook account. So. Picture finders, video finders, video download helper, right? And there's just, there are too many to count for me right now. It used to be I could go through the list. I can't anymore. There are so many things that you can do with it, okay? I showed you about nine. And, uh, am I in the right course? Yeah. Uh, if you go to this website, which is called I2Z, it's only called I2Z because my students didn't give me a choice. Click on Nyack College. Right here, there's a course for you, for stuff for you guys. And anybody can get into this course right now. And I have here something called Firefox add-ons. It's one add-on. So you come here with Firefox, click on it, and it'll ask if you want me if you want to install it. It will install the nine add-ons that I showed you. It'll install all of these. Okay, so rather than got it searching for each one, that one that's there will install all of them. But first, you have to get the uh, Firefox. First, you have to get Firefox. But if you go to I2Z, click on uh, Nia, uh, click on Nia College, you'll be able to get to those. And again, it's one file, and then boom, you've got them all. Okay. So save it to your hard drive, and then open it. File open. And you get all nine instead of having to hunt for them all. Okay? All right. We okay with the, uh, these add-ons? Mm -hmm. How, How do you turn around the page? You all are used to using Microsoft Windows, yes? Mm -hmm. Okay, up until Microsoft Windows 7, this was not possible. I, however, like my money. Okay, so you all give your money to... to Bill Gates or Steve Jobs, I use an operating system called Linux. And Linux costs nothing. I can download it for free. It's an open source package. And it allows me to have a cool desktop that allows me to play with it, to do this kind of thing. And make okay. the student motion sick. Again, more eye candy, right? I can't make no Linux. Linux, L-I-N-U-X, but please bear in mind, we're talking about a completely new operating system. Yeah, no, I don't know that I'd be able to. Right. Is, is anybody use a Mac? Has anybody ever gone from Windows to Mac or Mac to Windows? Okay. Was the transition easy? No. Okay. There. <laughs> I've, used, I've used all three of these. I've used Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the transition for some is like going to the dentist. Um, so people after they make a switch, they're like, there is no way I will ever do this again. Which, is right? user Which are the most user-friendly? Well, I'm prejudiced. Um, well, now, cast away your prejudice. For, uh, the, for, the, for, for the typical person, um, the eye candy and uh, the quote-unquote ease of use of, of a Mac is uh, rather strong. For other people, they were born and raised in Windows, and therefore anything else is going to be more difficult. Um, for someone like me, who has used a variety of them and sees the power advantage, okay, they're going to probably levitate to something like a Linux, okay, which is why I'm trying to tell you to go to Firefox. Is Internet Explorer good? Hey, it gets you around, but there's more power here, okay? Now, there are some people who are like, I don't really care about power. I want park, reverse, and drive. I don't need four gears. I don't need overdrive. Mm -hmm. Right? Different. They're very different. How long have you used Firefox? I've used Firefox for a long time. Before they had extensions. Okay, you use it? No. Yeah. 
I would, I, for these things in particular, I would recommend it. Uh, Chrome, which is a Google application, is also open source. They, they're starting to have add-ons. Microsoft has some add-ons, but they, it's unbelievable the op opportunities that are here. Um, so I would definitely go this way. Regarding security as well, Internet Explorer is embedded into Microsoft Windows, okay? Which means there's more potential for viruses. Really? Because they're connected, okay? If Microsoft has a weakness, it's transferred to Internet Explorer, okay? Go, go look at your standard security sites and they will list far more IE uh, viruses because of that. Uh, okay, we okay with this? Mm -hmm. uh, these are the examples. Google Docs, Google Tools. Um, I'm starting to use these all over the place because of their ease of use and their, again, power capabilities. Can you jot this down or are you going to get this? You're going to get this whole file, so I'm going to give this to you as a PowerPoint. Okay, actually, I'll just make it available to you on Google Docs. And if you want it, you can go get it. I can put it on the I2Z as well as a, as a share. Just go get it. But the real quick, to get it, to have access to these tools, you need a Gmail account. You need a Google account. Go to Google, set up an account, and then you have access to all these tools. Anybody have a Gmail account? Mm -hmm. uh, dude, uh, you can do it anyway. Okay, it's no big deal. I for actually for the longest time resisted getting another email account. Mm -hmm. I had six or seven of them. They drive me nuts. Mm -hmm. I'm very glad I can do a lot of forward. Gmail will let you do that as well. But after you get Gmail, then you have at the top of your page, you've got things up here: Gmail, Calendar, Document. Okay, and they're just sitting there. For the most part, you just use Gmail or you just use Google if you're doing a search. But these things are sitting up there if you've logged in. Okay, and if you log in and you click on Documents, these are the documents that you can create a document, a presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, drawing. Presentation is PowerPoint. Document is Word. Spreadsheet is uh, what? Excel. Form is basically, basically it's Excel, but it's in a form that makes it easier to understand. I sent you a form, I think, for, uh, for a survey to find out when you wanted to learn and study or whatnot. Okay. That's ba but it's basically a, an Excel spreadsheet. All of these I do through the browser. You pay nothing, okay? No need to give Bill Gates any of your money. You do want to give money, by the way. My email address is, <laughs> yeah. Um, so you, it's free. It's also through the web. So if you're here and you need access to it, it's on the web. I, you don't need to say, oh, I forgot my stick. Or it's on my other computer. Oh, it's on the web. I can get to it anywhere. It's a great advantage. But students would need to have a few accounts too. Uh, if they want to use this stuff, yes. Now, um, take a quick look at what I mean here. Uh, so if I'm on Gmail and I click documents, I'll eventually I'll go to this page here, and this lists oh, this lists uh, documents owned by me. These are the documents that I'm doing. Here's that survey that I sent out to you. It's on the web. Okay. Some other advantages. Oh, quick, uh, take a look at that. Here. Opens up in a new window. Here's a web, a web page. Okay? Who's looking at this web page? If I share this with somebody, I'll see who's sharing. I'll get a list here. These people are looking at this document. I can also share for editing purposes. I'm writing a paper with somebody who lives in Florida. We're both writing the paper. We write it here on Google Docs. We can both access the document at the same time, edit it at the same time. Okay? Yeah. Uh, I have friends in Japan. We're writing a papers together. He does his section. I do my section. Right? I ask him to change things. He can put notes inside here. This is a good idea. Add this. Do this. All online. All in real time. All right? Where are the notes that you would be communicating? I would type it in. Type in the window. You know, I put this here, right? He, he can put a note below there that says double check the version here because I think here's the higher version. He just type, he'll just type it in the window, type it right there. And when I go to look at this, I'll see those notes. And if I'm actually working on it at the time, it'll pop up the notes that he's put in. All right? So I can share. That's one thing you can do. You can share. 
So you have something you want your students to see?